Hey, what's up everybody? Chris back with another Prototech tip. And for this week, we're gonna compare two types of surface finishes, powder coating and anodizing. So let's get into it. So at Protocase and Protospace MFG, we leverage high velocity mass customization to serve as your one-stop shop for fully finished sheet metal and machined parts. Whether it's adding precise cutouts or applying custom graphics, we handle it all. Best of all, we can manufacture fully finished custom parts in as fast as two to three days. Our comprehensive capabilities include a wide range of surface finishes to ensure that your parts or enclosures are perfectly customized to your needs. When it comes to protecting and adding aesthetics to metal surfaces, two great finishing options are powder coating and anodizing. Both offer excellent protection against corrosion and wear, but they work in different ways and serve completely different purposes. Understanding the key differences between these two processes can help you make the right choice for your project. Powder coating involves electrostatically applying a dry, free-flowing powder to a part, which is then cured in an oven to create a hard, durable finish. On the other hand, anodizing is an electrochemical process that enhances the metal's natural oxide surface, providing increased corrosion resistance and a decorative finish. First, let's discuss material compatibility. As powder coating is applied electrostatically, it can only be applied to metals and not plastics. Meanwhile, among our in-stock material, anodizing can be applied only on aluminum. Powder coating creates a thick, resilient barrier that excels at protecting against impact damage in extreme weather conditions. The finish can withstand significant wear and tear, making it ideal for outdoor applications and heavy-duty equipment. Anodizing produces a thinner but incredibly hard surface that's highly resistant to corrosion and abrasion. While the anodized layer is more brittle than powder coating, it does offer excellent protection against environmental factors and maintains its appearance longer. Powder coating offers a significantly wider range of color options compared to anodizing. At Protocase and Protospace MFG, we currently provide an impressive selection of 36 powder coating colors in-house. And if you're looking for a specific color outside of those choices, we're happy to source non-stock options to meet your exact requirements. In contrast though, we do offer seven color choices for type two anodizing and two choices for type three anodizing. For more details on the available options, please visit our websites. Now with powder coating, you can achieve matte, gloss, textured, or metallic appearances. The thick coating can also hide surface imperfections and create a uniform look across different materials. Anodized finishes, meanwhile, maintain the metal's natural texture and appearance while providing a clean and professional look. As mentioned earlier, anodizing results in a much thinner coating compared to powder coating. Type two anodizing adds just four ten thousandths of an inch to the surface while type three adds one thousandths of an inch. In contrast, powder coating adds a significantly thicker layer of three thousandths of an inch. Keep these tolerances in mind when applying a finish to your design. If budget is your primary concern, then powder coating is more cost effective option due to its straightforward process. However, if corrosion resistance and durability are very important for your project, anodizing may prove to be an economical choice in the long run. When it comes to lead times, we can manufacture your fully finished part with powder coating added in just two to three days. However, anodizing requires extra lead time as it is done via a third party supplier. Now to wrap up this tech tip, I wanna go over a quick summary of when to choose each finishing process. Powder coating is the ideal choice if you need maximum impact resistance, more color options, a cost-effective finishing method for different materials, or a thick protective coating suitable for harsh environments. On the other hand, anodizing is the better option when working with aluminum and needing superior corrosion resistance, maintaining precise dimensions, a professional appearance that highlights the metal's texture, or long-term durability in outdoor applications. So I hope this video clarified the differences between powder coating and anodizing, helping you select the ideal surface finish for your project. If you have any further questions, please send an email over to info at protocase.com or info at protospacemfg.com and our team of experts will be happy to answer your questions. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and share. For more tech tips delivered straight to your inbox every Tuesday, please subscribe to our weekly newsletter using the link in the description below. So until next time, take care.